Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to episode 18 of the Chocolate Bros Podcast. Uh, I'm Sam Riley. And I'm Zach Burrell. Yeah, and so uh, here we have, we already have it right up on the screen, our spoiler. Yes, exciting. So we were really hoping to get a spoiler after, you know, putting in our work in the podcast and trying to be really active in the community. So thank you very much to Square and especially RB for giving us this honor. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just honestly, call him it is. Richard Brady, but yeah. But everyone else calls yeah. him RB. Everyone, everyone calls him RB, I don't know. Um, yeah, man. So this this is uh, this is a heck of a spoiler, and I have to say that yes. I don't think our spoiler was random, <laughs> right? The uh, the monsters. Yeah. yeah. Richard Brady was there um, where we both top aided uh, in Kansas um, mm-hmm. with monsters. So I highly doubt that just just that we happened to so ha- we just happened to get this monster. Um, right. Anyways, do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah. So uh, so the name is Mushusu. Uh, that we, we had to practice that one before we got on here. <laughs> um, 2 CP, that's pretty standard for a utility uh, monster, right? Like right a lot of we, the... Right where we want to be with Gal, yeah. Yeah, one or two. Uh, exactly, yep, Gal gets back. Uh, it is multi, which is very nice. So you can have more than one. Uh, so it's not one of those kind of one and done monsters. Yep. Uh, let's talk about, I mean, we'll start oh, with I, I, does, I, right? I, 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 Yeah, and I want to come back to that. Um, I think that's really important, what you just said. But yeah, all right. Okay. So the job Marduk... We don't want to have that yet. But for one Earth CP and one of any CP, you can put this in the break zone. So it's already in the break zone when it resolves, which I think is another important piece. Uh, choose one dull forward and break it. Yep. Just straight up break it. No if ands, or buts. All it has to be is dull. And typically, unless, they have, unless they're playing wind or something, or maybe fairy, there's not many ways to undull something once it's attacked. Uh, so you yep. can... you The whole time this is sitting on the field, they have to think about, well... They want to attack with maybe not their strongest guy first, but then that can lead to its own issues. So I'm really excited to see what kind of work this does, both in like Earth main decks and even yeah. as just like a splash. Yeah, it's interesting. And th- there are actually several applications for it, right? Um, there's there's the Gao synergies, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's Sid Wolf. So you can put these in your ice decks. You can play them in your water decks. Um, and you can play them in your, your anger. Uh, the the like not the I wouldn't play it in the mill deck, but maybe like a more dedicated Scion deck. Oh, uh, so you definitely have to be a little more dedicated because it needs two. Yeah, the mill deck only has Estola and your anger, which is enough. But typically, right. you want to have two. You have you want to have plus one Scions on the board before you use right. your anger, so that if they kill your one of your Scions in response, you still get your monster back. So right, right, yeah. But one of the cool things I think I, I thought about this monster is that to use its ability, you don't have to dull it. Yes. Um, that... Which is really cool and, and interesting in the fact that one of its uses might be animation with uh, Realm and Kefka. And then, mm-hmm. so while you're attacking with this, um, if they have some sort of surprise trick like a, a Hecaton or, or they, they have some sort of like trick during their combat step, then you can actually just use this after it's attacked. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so the, the important thing <clears throat> will be like the order of attacking when you're when you're playing with this monster i think which is like i i love those types of cards the kind of cards that make like um the order of combat like really important and i think what i i sort of started to touch on earlier uh my favorite part about this is the fact it's not one of the monsters that it's a mandatory auto ability that just happens so that your opponent gets to kind of choose when they have to take the beats you get to decide exactly when you want this to go off. So by that, which, you're, you're referring to like the ton, the newest Tonberry and like Tonberry, Hill Giant, uh, Layak, Hill sure. Giant, yeah, okay, those, yeah, those things, or like Grenade. Um, yeah. That's a major reason I think why Grenade doesn't see a lot of plays because they can just put whatever they want Black into Knight. it. <clears throat> Buck, uh, Buckaboo, yeah, Buckaboo is <laughs> annoying some people, but I haven't really had a problem with it. Right. Um, so this one, they can go. All right, I'm gonna like if it wasn't, they could swing with their little guy. And little guy breaks, but like you can just hold this back. But no, waiting for the valuable guy, and then they don't get to attack, right. um, unless they're brave or you know there's other tricks. But yeah, and, I this card is powerful. I think. I I I tend to agree, and also the fact that like you were saying before, um, like you can have multiple of these in the field at the same time. So right. if you're playing like a a monster list more tuned to like what we were playing in Kansas um, near or near the middle, it's probably the middle of Opus Four, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, the more kind of controlling version of monsters rather than the right. Kind of yeah, combo aggro you can actually kind of like build way. build these up and use them uh, when you see fit. I mean, sim- similar to like how Cleone works. Like, sure, Cleone right. Cleone's in the deck to counter summons, but it also uh, you know oftentimes you're going to animate it and attack with Realm. 
I it's a lot like Schrodinger now too. Like where Schrodinger does it has its value and then it gets to attack. It's just this one goes the other way around. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, the, uh, and obviously this card is very, very good in a Schrodinger deck because yeah. just having access to one or two of these um, mm-hmm. in your deck is just I think I think insane because like at any point you use it, at any t- point they attack you with something, you can always just you know play, play a Schrodinger, get a guy back from your bat, your 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 your. When you flip a backup, you get any kind of character back from your yard, and you get this card yeah. back and just kill their guy. Like killing, I wonder... killing their five CP card just off a of Schrodinger <laughs> basically is pretty yeah. nuts. I used yeah. to feel good enough when you could bounce it. I wonder if this will help Mira see any more play because being able to break their guy and then immediately search up another copy of this card to threaten breaking their next big threat. I don't know if that's good enough for it, but I, that's just a thought I had. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking the same thing, kind of like. Like, uh, the Max Foils version of, like, the monster deck right now is pl- was playing, like, three mirrors, I think. So, mm-hmm. now his version didn't have Earth other than the one Kefka. But right. if you were to combine those types of decks, um, or just m- m- move to a, a more mirror-based list, then yeah, man, being able to kill something for one CP, you put it into play, and then two CP, you activate it. Um, yeah, that's just, that's to me, that's, that seems very, very good. Also, uh... For all of you guys who out there who are asking for a good typo card, here's a good typo card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. But right, so right now though, there are there, there there are no synergies right with this card specifically being a type O that you can think of. You could animate it with Realm to turn on O. Type zero, right? Not type O, or is it type O? Uh, people say typo, but it's technically okay. it's a zero. Okay. But I no, you wondering. you could animate this with Realm to turn it into a forward for all the summons that check for a typo forward. Okay. That's not the most. I think that's the only synergy I can think Fair of. Fair enough. I don't see playing Realm in my Typo deck, but right. Yeah, that's you might, I'm... but you might be playing Odin in your Realm deck. Like the Realm or the okay. Odin just breaks anything if you have uh, Typo if you have forward. Typo, yeah. Okay. So then that kind of goes into we're going to talk about some other stuff later, like the Ico. There's a lot of summons matters type cards in this True, set. Yeah. Uh, there could be maybe an Earth uh, Water deck that splashes a bunch of different colors for another reason. Uh, yeah. For different tech summons and you could have a realm to animate this to turn on these odins that you have they can just break anything yeah for four cp yeah obviously uh, very fringe but it's an idea no yeah i agree like so if you're so are you playing three of these in your non-mirror decks or are you playing three of them only a mirror deck maybe like one or two i mean so the question is, is like obviously this card's not busted it's just pretty good right it's solid. It, you can kind of think of it like a conditional Odin, sort of. That you it's, can. It's almost like dragon, right? Yeah, I was, like you, I was gonna, it's like a, it's like an Earth dragon, right? Yeah, it's like an Earth dragon, but having no cost. I think having the cost restriction on dragon is much worse than having the dull restriction on this card because there's a lot of cards that cost more than four. There's yeah, not yeah. as many cards that will cause a situation where an attacking. Yeah. forward is not dull. So as you <laughs> as you had mentioned previously like this card is much worse against wind although against I, guess, wind I guess they have and... ranger and barts and and kami they have a bunch of cards that the dragon wasn't going to be able to hit anyway right so right maybe this card isn't necessarily much worse against wind mm-hmm. um but yeah i i i wonder if both of these could see play too and like maybe Maybe this card as a two of, and maybe dragon as a two of, and like a scion, mm-hmm. a scion monster deck would be. Interesting. Yeah, I do want to talk about. It. I think we were discussing it earlier in a group, but uh, we'll talk about it with a couple more spoilers coming up here. Yeah. Where I think lightning wind is, or sorry, uh, lightning earth is going to be a pretty sweet archetype in this new set. I do too. Yeah, and I think so it's far anyway. Been doing somewhat well actually, as of lately. What I've been seeing as far as coverage goes, and uh, right. so. Yeah, do you want to just let's hey, let's just move straight into the other spoilers? I can actually just click this button and boom. Sure. Yeah. All right. So first up, we have uh, first off, this is uh, Conkways. Who who is this? FTTCGBoards.net/threads. Okay. Up here. We can put the link in the uh, yeah, well, video what, description so you yeah, guys can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This Conkway. I'm not sure who this is on Facebook. To be honest, I I know at one point I knew. Yeah, uh, so but th- they tr- do a lot of updates. They're very active on Reddit, or at least they used to be. I used to talk to them all the time right. in like Opus One. <laughs> and real quick, before anyone gets all like super upset about like their spoilers and stuff, like this, we're not saying that Conway is is a person who spoiled all these for us. But but they were nice enough to put them in any single spot that we're going to use. Yeah, they're all in one like, this, central location. This original yeah, thing not. is from uh, is from Ban. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the Furion first. What do we think about the Furion? Sure. Uh, Furion. 
That's I think legend. there's uh, yeah, that's one of our fire legends. For some reason, we always know the two fire legends first, but yeah, good point. Uh, the thing about this card is the its archetype has to be good, right? Like we yeah. have to have a solid rebel shell, which Bro, I think I... so far it's it might be shaping up. Uh, <laughs> there's there's some there's some good cards in there, but I just don't know if they're better than other options. <laughs> oh man. I was just going to have you joke and give it a rating, but <laughs> it... I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this card is, is fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, I not mean, the it legend, a... it's not the legend we deserve. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's cost can be lowered, which is great. It yeah. can get bigger on its own, which is great. Uh, I think the last ability is kind of interesting. So I you think can the last put it back like up in the, the break best zone. Ability, actually. Yeah, right. So you can just pitch it back up to get first strike and brave, which in fire. I think that's actually good, like a good tool for them, because previously you had to play something in like Delita from Earth or something to be able to get rid of your backups, because a lot of right. them are just either a one-time use small thing that's eh, not even really yeah. played. But like this with Paravir, that card that makes your guys unable to be broken for the turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you could break that and you could do that <laughs> multiple <laughs> times. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. So I, it'll be interesting. I think we have to see the whole set and then really look at fire again and what fire can bring to the table. Sure. Uh, I haven't thrown the idea of fire out the window yet. So like next everybody we have, else seems to be. Uh, <laughs> next we have Warrior Light, which we don't know, so we're going to keep on. Yeah, we going. don't know. I, I'm going to guess this is another legend, though. Yeah. That's um, probably the second Earth legend. Yeah. All right, so we have Yuna, the six-drop sure. Yuna, who just she searches for a going forward other than Yuna and adds it to your hand, right? Or, or plays or a going from your hand. Plays it, or just plays one, right? So right. as of right now, you can actually play Yuna... Then play Pain from your hand to get Riku. You can actually yes. just have the YRP package by just playing this single card. Ah, uh, Flavor Fail. It goes YPR in that play, though. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, that's a good point. Anyway, oh well. so I... I yeah. I, like, I don't want to spend too much time on these spoilers because I think a lot of people are talking about them. Um, right. Maybe the ones card, that came out like today. Yeah, we'll it's get, too hard, it's too hard to speculate on this guy. Huh, yeah, again, huh. summon synergy. Guy's so. next. Guy's yeah, next. Guy. See what I did there. Um, yeah, guy. Guy. Most important guy is um, from the Final Fantasy II. And he's a category. rebel. And he's a rebel. And the reason I say most important about Category Two is we're going to come across Leon. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then uh, here's IQ, which you love, right? So this card I think is great. Uh, I do too. Yeah. Even if it doesn't cost the two less, even though that's very good. Yeah. Well, Having just an ability to dull a backup and pitch this extra copy of a card that I'm probably pitching anyway for something right. to go just find any summon. There's no restriction on cost. There's no restriction on element. There's no restriction on anything except that it is a summon. So compare, I think that is compare fantastic. that to like Edward, for example. So like, like okay. we're comparing this to Edward. What do you think? Like what's Edward, the, the three CP backup yeah. that counters? Yes. Uh, I mean, the counters... I think that gets more value, right? Because you're trading you? one card to get rid of so, something that's four, six, eight, ten, whatever, how big CP. So here, here's uh, my take on it. I, I think that you're right, but but in, in a way that, one, obviously, like, obviously we're not asking for this to be Edward because Water already has both Cleone and Summoner mm-hmm. and has all the tools already available to counter Summoners if that's what it wanted. Right. But what I do like about this is is there are some awkward turns in Water, right? Where you have to spend your CP in, in ways that make some plays a little more awkward than others. Mm-hmm. This, uh, like in wh- where Edward is, you have to wait for them to play a summon to get value out of that Edward. Right. Whereas like the second you draw an Aiku and you have this up, you can just pitch it to so- search for any summon and add it to your hand. Like and, and having that effect in water, I think might be stronger than being able to counter something in ice also. This like, card feels really good to me in mono water for, for soya and, and in tricolor monsters. Like I would play this card in both of those. Mm-hmm. Fairly Here's certain. the other thing too. There's no timing restriction either, so you can you can have a toolbox of summons in your deck. Someone can attack you, and based on how they attacked or what they're leaving back or what their board state is, you can decide at that very moment when you get priority what summon you want to get to solve the situation. Too. Right. This is not. And it doesn't have turn. to be on your turn. Right. So right. this having a tutor effect at instant speed like that, whatever. Well, instant speed. It's, I think it's very good, very strong. All right. Um, kind let's of surprised get... it's only rare actually. Let's keep going because I, I, I we have a whole lot of cards yeah, to do. get through. All right, Maria. Um, uh, sweet. Sweet. Uh, I, I don't know. I, again, this is another thing we're going to have to wait. Interesting that's also category two, also a rebel. And it has three abilities. Like anything and... with three abilities has, is versatile. So Yeah, Jason the Mind Sculptor. Wait, that's four <laughs> abilities. <laughs> All right, so we're not there yet. This is no Garnet. 
Yeah. All right. So then we have uh, Kate Sith. Sure. So uh, I mean, like, Kate so Sith Kate, is sweet. Yeah. So Kate Sith is, is a choose one summon, uh, choosing a forward you control cancel its effect. It's Carbuncle on a backup. Yeah. So this card yeah. is, in my opinion, very good, and mm-hmm. also at the same time not good enough to see play. I'm not saying it won't see play, Probably. <laughs> because you could stick a vanilla. 2 CP backup in an Earth deck, and somebody at some point will win an event with it. Like, it's, they, they would do it just because they like the character. Someone will play this and get first place at, like, a Crystal Cup because they like Kate Sith. It'll happen. <laughs> and I'm not saying that the card's not good. I'm just saying that, like, this card is no Mog Mobius, right? This card is no, yeah. like... Mog Mobius is real good. <laughs> it, I think it's very, very good. Um, there's the Black Mages, there's Black Belts, there's Monks... Mm-hmm. There's a million 2CP backups that this thing's fine for. There's minor if we're counting that, you know, it's a 2CP. <laughs> like, Kinda, yeah. What, in what case do you put in the first Kate Sith over the third minor? I couldn't I couldn't think of any scenario where that happens. Uh, I Get guess, back your Mog Mobius. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or, like, if, if, like, the Tricolor Monsters deck is really good or the Ice the ice deck is, like, really giving you problems and you don't want the one that stops your guy from being dull for some reason, like, maybe you just want to counter... Uh, I just train. wish it had the name Kate Sith, period. Like, just nothing after it. Because yeah, then it, this... maybe it's some synergy with that the other weird, was it Reeves or something that, like, tutors oh, as Kate Sith? Oh, yeah. I, I, so that would more... have helped Lightning Earth. Like, that'd be a cool way to t- tie those two elements together. Right. So we'll keep moving. But... Next, we have a Merrick, I think is how you yes. it. Um, so it doesn't receive damage, it lessens power. Built in uh, Minwoo. Built in Minwoo. And when it attacks other fours, you control gain plus two thousand power until the turn. So he's at 11 can attacking, which is kind of a weird, like, fire ability, right? Like, a Garland does that, kind of? Well, yes before. and no. So this is also, like, a Waka ability, right? Or, like, a Titus right. ability? Like, they, yeah. they have that built in. When we attack, we're going to pump things. I guess Titus doesn't pump things. It's just bigger, period, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so one of the cool things is, like, if if, if you guys have ever played, like, a lot of the, the Water Mirror, what mm-hmm. or the Wind Water Mirror, what ends up happening is back then, like... Back in, like, I would say Opus, like, 3, um, a lot of times people would be playing either the, like, like they'd be playing, like, the Walk of Forward, right? Yep. The reason being is, although, like, Blitz Reel is good, right? Is that what it is, Blitz Reel? Uh, it's something like that. Yeah, status Reel. Status Reel, that's what it is. Status Reel is good. Like, the reason to play it was is that you could actually power your guys over the the stalled board state, which was which the game would inevitably go to a, a mill a mill out um right right or deck out instead like you could power your guys over the board state and whoever had the waka down would inevitably win um i in my opinion at least the wood water mirror match whoever had right right first. especially um, with uh, when they're playing titus and minwoo like just pump yes. the titus and get him in yeah. there and that forces an answer this card does not have the problem <clears throat> of being named waka right and so when you play this and you're activating your green dragons and you're activate and you're you're attacking with your realms like they're all huge that's awesome right. to me. Like, I mean, this is, yeah, yeah, it's definitely something to break those awful water mirrors when you just get the, stuck the in that board. The other thing sure. to consider is in the the water earth decks that are starting to become more popular, like the warrior light builds. And like you get Hecaton this with another guy after mm-hmm. it attacks and it's 11,000 power. Oh, no, it's other yeah. than, right? Other than, yeah. So it, it's 9,000 power. It's other than him that attack. Right. So oh, he's still okay, 9,000. Right. But still, but you can Hecaton and fight two things. And this guy has the built-in Minwu, so he doesn't he doesn't die, and all the other guys are bigger. Right, right. So yeah, no, the card seems sweet. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I, I guess I didn't give it a whole lot of thought when I first saw it. I'm like, oh, built-in Minwu, and just kind of kept reading. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's I, I think it's decently. I guess the problem is is like again, it's a five drop, and we're already fighting with Gal, Lena, Cloud of Darkness, which is just an insane five drop, and Cecil. And Cecil's not even seen play anymore because of how good Cloud of Darkness is. So right. that's kind of like the 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 bar that the, that you have to be able to step up to, but anyway. So next we have Dark Lord. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna skip. Do you have anything to positive to say about Dark Lord? Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad card. I just I, I I'm gonna need to see something else before I'm, I say it's. A good I'm card. gonna say if everyone has my initial thought, give it another thought. Uh, I wish his like 3K was somehow on like an attack or something or like repeatable, but. The removing 10 cards part. That's a lot of really, cards. It's really going to depend on how fast fire can burn you down. It Because this card is not a control card. This is not anything but aggro. But it does not have any other 
Would this card be much stronger Parts of that, if it was two CP and like a seven K? Probably. Right, because uh, you a lot play, more playable. You could, you could play it turn one, and then and not feel start, bad about start it. attacking. Yeah, you could blize it and start attacking, and I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe like you could next turn. You could also play back out next turn. You could play VV, ping their guy that they bought, they put down to defend it, and then attack, and then finish it off with this guy. Yeah, I, I think I would see this this being like a two CP even six K. I think would make it strong. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Like having a big fire forward is not even new though, right? Like right now right. we have Amador. Yeah, like, it's not right? it's not adding anything new. It's just a different way to do the same kind of thing. Yeah, you have Ayame and Amador, which are already ginormous half the time right now. Um, and they don't really see much play either. Right. Anyway, all right, so how about Kuja? Kuja's sweet. Uh, I really like his second ability. I like guess first right. one's great. For like those that are freeze. just listening, it's uh, it's a 5 CP Ice Legend 9000 power. Uh, EX Burst. When it enters yep. the field, choose one forward or monster your opponent controls. Dole it and freeze it. And then you can put two Ice backups into the break zone to return him to your hand. You can only use this during your main phase and only if it's in the break zone. So I do like that uh, this is kind of a use for that. Is it, It's Goomba, right? Yeah. The ice backup. Yep. That whenever it goes to the break zone, you search for another one and put it on the field. Yep. So this is it, this essentially only takes one backup if you have a Goomba in your deck and you break Goomba as one of the two. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, it kind of do you doesn't think, you know, punish do you, you as much. you think that uh, ice backup is kind of like I, I get that it stops it from working with like Fasoya, for example. But do you think it's also like future proofing? Like, there's got to be a way in the future, like where like putting two ice packs and returning a card, then you could pitch a card. I this mm -hmm. has got to be like some sort of combo future proofing. I think. Uh, for what like, saying is during your main phase. Like all I'm saying is that if it just said put two backups into your break zone, Matiski would have broken it already. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, because because then you could do things like break Shantoto, right? And then you well, not even just Shantoto. Yeah, you could you could break the Goomba. To Actually, you can break Shantoto. Shantoto is oh, a nice backup. Yeah, there you go. But, but you could break Goomba and Fasoya, deal something five k, you right. know, and like go get another ice backup. But yeah. Anyway, all right. We have Moogle Brothers. This was today. Was that correct? No, this was a while ago. Oh, was it? Okay, I, I didn't see it. Someone's just talking about it today. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So when it enters the field, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one job Moogle from them to your hand and return the others. And then dole it. That's put Moogle Brothers into the break zone. Up. Play one job Moogle two less from the field. Um. More multicolor support, right? Uh, yeah, so, so it, Earth it, is it, just the multicolor realm, color. You realm for a Moogle, basically. And yes. I can tell you that. So, like, if you have 12 Moogles, which is, like, the number you want to be at with realm, um, then you're this probably hitting most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Worst case, it grabs itself, and you just pitch it for uh, CP. Like, again, like, when, are you playing this over Star Civil? Are you playing this over Momidi? Are you playing this, like... yeah. I don't know. It is a one CP backup when it hits, though. That also does something. It's it's an evoker that does something. Right, and the fact that it can play any color, like it's going to be for decks that want like maybe three colors of Moogles, but don't want to play some of the other multicolor tools. Yeah. Are there uh, other are there any other one CP backups like this? Um, I mean, you can argue any of the searchers, right? No, any no, no. That, that also do something, like. Like, oh, that also do something. Yeah, like, so this guy also has another ability. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Like Not these, ones that don't like... require more cost. Right, exactly. Interesting. All right, anyway, let's go on. So, Kane, we have a Dragoon. All right. Sure. <laughs> this card is so interesting to me, just the, the flavor. <laughs> when a Dark Forward of your opponent enters the field, your opponent gains control of Kane. And when a Dark Forward your control is put from the field into the break zone, your opponent gains control of Kane. Yep. So, basically, you want to play this... Right, mm -hmm. and then hold play, back your camel or whatever, and let them play a guy, and then yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, this guy's huge for three CP. Or like, what if they're not playing dark? Then you just have a three CP nine K. Yeah, but like they're wrong, obviously. So, <laughs> like if they're if they're not playing camel like they're doing it wrong, right? So far, I mean, look, I I I, <laughs> I told you I'm playing camel until the end of the the end, of, the end of Opus Five. <laughs> I wasn't joking. All right, uh, we're at what Sh Shuyan? Yes. So I think this card is first off, the art is sick. I love this art. Yeah, it is. It'll be nice uh, foil. It's one of those that's like, oh, sweet, nice foil. It's a little yeah. blurry. Uh, I don't know if it's just this screenshot of it or if the card itself has kind of got that. I guess it's because it's an in-game image, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, when it enters the field, choose one forward with power inferior to Shuen's. You gain control of it forward until end of turn. 
Only Next. complaint is that it doesn't say choose one forward if its power is inferior to Shuyin's gain control, because then you could modify him once he hits the field. But okay, the yes. way it's worded now, you have to choose it with whatever power he has, whether it's seven or if you have eight from like Waka or something. So it's hard to get bigger guys, but it's still a pretty cool swing to be able to take their tools. Yeah, the 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 issues that so there are cool things you can do with it, like you can sat you can like throw it with um, what's that what's that fi the five CP fire guy that throws Amadar Amadar no, yeah. Amadar no 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 Amadar oh, Am uh, um Amarant right Yep Amarant yeah um and then like you can fan for it like their guy away right they, right they lose another guy but you can't attack with that forward unless the forward has haste um and I think this is just gonna be like a ruling nightmare. I just think that there's so Probably. many people that are just going to be like, I don't understand like why I can't attack with it. And what's, what is the purpose of this card? But yeah, there you go. You need to be flinging it. Then you have Neo Bahamut, uh, Ian, if you're listening. Um, you can yeah, only cast right. Neo Bahamut during your main phase. Choose one forward, deal $8,000. 8,000 damage. Discard, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Discard all your hand. Discard so all your hand. It want, yeah. Ignoring the grammar of it. All your base belong to us. Yes. It is an aggro card. It's removal for aggro for getting pesky things out of the way yeah. when you need to get damage in. I think that is the only place we're going to see it because it's, it's during the main phase, which is awkward. But like, 8k is a good spot to be, right? But yeah. discarding your hand is a steep cost. If your deck wants to be discarding your whole hand anyway and just aggroing somebody out, this card's fine. But this is not any sort of like mid rangey control card. No, it's when... not. Yeah. So, like, for example, um, when you and I played in the finals of the 1k um oh man if i had this card in orlando <sighs> so that's that's what i was gonna say like what happened is you ended up going all in on the aggro plan and i was playing mono ice at the time mm -hmm. uh, which i tend to do i like mono ice quite a bit you, <laughs> you i just was like okay fine i'm in on that plan i played like a genesis and a celeste and just my right. guys were bigger than yours this is a way to punish that at the very least exactly so it, it has it makes them think right yeah so any card that makes someone like kind of second guess their choices yeah. and make them think and it's not just like autopilot it's good yeah all right uh kazuza seems powerful <laughs> to, yeah when it field, anytime you see ten thousand damage like it's got to be when it enters the field playable, choose one golf board deal it ten thousand and there is a searcher for kazuza now too so mm -hmm. yeah and, and it has also uh ice and a any color Dole it, put Kazuza in the break zone, choose up to two forwards, and dole them. So you can also just Shiva their guy later yeah. on. Yeah, you kill and the guy, the slot, and then you play kill the guy, one. and then later on, you kill them by Shiva in from the same card. Yeah, but, I think know, it's very good, but the obviously it's a high cost. Five CP, yeah, man. That's, but you can kill pretty much any five CP character dole in the game. Forward, yeah. Any dole, yeah. So I think it's very good. Uh, again, though, it's just going to matter if Ice decks can afford to go to five. Because like a lot of times, they're not even playing Devout anymore. Yeah. Which is like arguably one of my... I think it's one of the best backups <laughs> in the game. But like that's just not what they need. So I skipped so. over the, the, the images from the magazine um, that were in Bonds. He covered those already like pretty extensively. In his yeah, video. well, yeah, we can... Yeah, um, I love yeah. the fire card, but yeah. we, can, we can go by it. Um, so next we have Ishtola. Sure. So this is another reason why I think the lightning uh, or science might yeah. be much more of a thing. She has the same ability as the other Stola, right? Where she doesn't take damage uh, from summons or abilities. Oh, no, wait, no, it's the opposite, actually. No, she, she she's a Vincent. Oh, right. So she's another Vincent effect. Actually, that's pretty sweet then. Right. I um, misread that the first time. Um, and then if you have three or more job scions other than her, and this is important, it does not say forwards. Yeah, yeah, it's just jobs. So your so backups count. So she pretty much brave. always she's gonna have brave. So yes, she and is then, a Vincent with a UV basically. Right, and then when she attacks, you choose a four uh, opponent controls. If you have five scions, deal it eight thousand damage. Yeah, that's like obviously it needs to be in a scions deck, but that is insane. It's like, not right? like, that just, difficult to, to get no five scions. Like Minfilia is searching her out. Minfilia is searching Uranger. Yeah, uh, like. I, this card seems pretty solid. Yeah. Not an Earth pun. <laughs> <laughs> you had no, to say I, that. Yeah, I did. Uh, I I enjoy this card. Uh, do you have any other thoughts that like beyond just no? Let's, well, no, I'd love to talk about the next card. I really would. I think this card, besides the so, other Earth card we're gonna talk about, Ajito is Marujido. Ajito Marujido. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a five. Uh, it's 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 a, a winnow. 
oh, every time oh that's what i say okay. that's <laughs> it's cards it's insane five cp earth backup when it enters the field select one of the two following clearly this is going to be something simple right you cast a summon without paying the cost so period that's it yeah, no wait. restriction just Bahamut? summon got yeah. it you want to cast a raiden raiden oh let's go oh come on you say bahama you gotta go raiden yeah uh well listen i'm trying to give some fire some credit here okay? <laughs> like like it's gotta get some love sometime maybe you just put your just cast that neo bahamut bro maybe you're yeah maybe you're just playing like <laughs> lightning earth scions and you have this card in your deck and you just play like bahamut's yep because yolo <laughs> uh anyway so the other ability oh there's another ability choose up to two summons in your break zone and add them to your hand and so it's not like ico where it's choose or like select like choose four and then pick one to get it you get them both yeah you get but, both of them yeah Worst it, case, it, it would be interesting if the, if this was like choose two summons, remove one from the game and get the other to your hand. That exactly, but nope. Yeah, just, just get, him, get him back. Yeah, this card is a pinnacle of the game uh, changing, in my opinion. Um, I'm trying to Probably. think the last time I felt like a card was this good, and I think it would have to be Camel or not. Um, I really, so think, <laughs> I really think this is this card is up there at least on the power level of Star Civil. Yeah, um, this card is. It's something. Obviously, there's the caveat of like you have to have in your hand. Yeah. Value out so, of it. You, you can't play it early because you won't have things in the bin. Like, so the, sure. that deck already plays Phoenix, man. And it it's so it's typically hard to play the seven CP Phoenix because like you have to have the fire CP. This mm -hmm. just negates that completely. Like you just this play your says... backup. Your <laughs> the, all, all that deck wants to do is develop forwards and then data Luma combo until you have no forwards and they just mill you out. That's all it wants to do. This and plus, you, you, you can play this Phoenix to kill their guy, get back your dude, which gets back Uranger, all for 5 CP. Yes, and the cost and of this does card everything the Uranger mill deck wants to do. I would be very surprised if this does not see a lot of play in that deck. I mean, so let's say let's say, let's say, say you go turn one, uh, any backup, Riku or whatever, right? Turn two, you're on, let's say you're on the draw and they play a forward. You could just play this on turn two, Phoenix their guy, get back... I mean, you you can discard your your targets for Phoenix with this card. So normally you can't discard your yep. cards with Phoenix to, that you're gonna get back with Phoenix. You can discard them to play this card, then Phoenix them back into play immediately. And I think yep. the game might just end. So your opponent depending goes, on like you get a Zidane back, especially like kill your guy and take one of your like two cards left in your so hand. So turn one, yeah, turn one you play Riku. I mean, I'm just in in, in, the, in the dream situation you always have Riku. Obviously, turn one you play Riku. Right. Maybe you don't. Maybe you play Minor. Maybe you play any of their other amazing two CP backups, but that's fine. Turn turn one, they go like something like lock thought image to like lock you down. You're just like, all right, I discard my my Vivi or I discard my Zidane or my Ishtola. And you're like untap, kill your guy, have a second backup, have a forward on the board, and I, I, I it just seems very hard to lose for that position. It's it seems very sweet. Um, also like I was saying, like the Lightning Earth deck. God, like, I, I forgot you, about this card. I am like wild up right now. Like you could, <laughs> like we talked about Lightning Earth Fusoya being kind of cool of an idea with like the Cecil and stuff. Like this card kind of goes in that. You can put like the Odins and the Atomos that you want for the EX burst off the of Fusoya anyway. Yeah. Like casting yeah. a seven drop Odin feels pretty good. Sure. Yeah. And while developing a backup, like yeah. uh, or how how about how about just getting two of them back? Also, to, let's talk about the hand. fact that Star Sybil finds this card. That's so gross. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's, it's five so, eleven. So like you and like you can do even weirder things, like really weird things. Like like you could go get back an Odin and then use Lightning's like overdrive ability. Is that what I think it's overdrive? Right? So like late yep. game, these make your your lightnings more consistent. There's well, just so think about, many think about that. Like this. you, yeah, you go somehow star Sibyl in that lightning to put an Odin on top, draw a card with something because you're a summon deck, and or put it back on top for Fasoya, or draw yeah. next turn, play this. Now you have the seven in hand. Like there's a this lot is, of stuff. Yeah. This card. So we I, do a whole I, podcast I, just on the application. Of this yeah, thing. I said I said that I would be playing, uh, Camelot until Opus six. Okay. I can tell you, unless I see something crazy, I will be playing this card until Opus 7. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> sure of it. Anyway, so let's go on to Pain. Um, Dull Wing Forge can't be... Or Gold Wing Forge you cannot be chosen by summons. summons. Okay, So cool. if Gold Wings are good, this card's fine. Otherwise, yeah. probably Listen, a pass because... I don't, know how you follow, I don't know how you follow the Earth back up. Let's just keep <laughs> yeah, it. Right. Next one, uh, 4CP Colossus. First off, the art of this card is awesome. I love Colossus yeah. art. Yeah, sweet. So it becomes a 7,000 power... 
uh, forward for free. For free, yeah. And Very important it, if you're doing stuff with no no. When it attacks, deal 1,000 damage to all the forwards your opponent controls. So. Interesting. Could be yeah. good with the Manusvin Warmech. Uh, make it deal 3k to everything. Obviously, Maybe that's relevant. Obviously, this could actually see play in the Uranger Mill deck because it does play a little bit of Lightning. And you do have mm -hmm. Barbarishas. Um, right. And you also have Dataluma, so like sometimes like you, they maybe have a 9k, and you can poke the, poke the guy for 8k, activate this for free, and attack. Seems interesting. I don't right, know if it's right. good. Then we have Minwu. Another Summon Matters card. Yeah, so when it enters the field, reveal the top five cards of your deck, add one Summon among them to your hand, and return the others to the bottom of your deck. Cool. So this is 2cp, basically, if you're playing enough Summons. And right. when it, so it's a 2cp 7k... Um, when it, it attacks, you may cast one summon for four less from your hand without paying its cost. That is the ability that I have no idea how good it's going to be because there's so many things to think about, but I it's, have a feeling it's going to be great. It's good. <laughs> so it, it's <laughs> like, like, what if you just cast a fairy? That's still pretty damn good. You, just yeah. att you, you attack with your Minwu, you cast a fairy, you draw like, a card, with untap Amaric. your Minwu... Like with Amaric, you attack with this and cast Hecaton for free. Amaric on a guy and like kill it, get it yeah. out of the way. Like, yeah, uh, and and the lightning decks and the Fosoi, the Fosoi, the light, the water uh, lightning Fosoi decks play a lot of summons. So you mm -hmm. cast, you can, you can cast things like a some like an Odin, or you can cast your Kuchelains. Yeah, just like, cast a little all oh, Kuchelain, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. for free, and, and you draw a card. card. Yeah. All right. Mm. Anyway, let's move on to Kiros. That's a. Two CP fire card. So what are we expecting here? Uh, enter the field. Choose one forward you control. It gains two thousand power. Mm -hmm. If you if it's a category eight, it gains haste, first strike, and brave. Uh, it's sweet with phoenix. Uh, outside of that, we I don't know why does where... it be other than Kiros. Why can't fire uh, have can't good things? Give it itself. Yeah, but, right. But why can't fire have good things? This would not be broken if it could target itself. It would be good. Seven K first strike haste brave. Only yeah. that turn, yeah. Right. And then it would be go back into a 5k vanilla little warrior guy. So it depends on how well you can mix the elements, right? Like fire, lightning, or fire, ice for the 8 sure. cards. Yeah. Not too many other 8 cards in the other colors. We you actually, give your Altamecia brave, I guess. So talking about, <laughs> talking about mixing elements, we have Garland up next. Uh, if you control, it's a 5 CP uh, fire card. If you control a job princess, the job knight forge you control... Gain brave. Now I already like my garnets and my ashes and my fire and like my, my fire water um, FF nine decks, right? Because like right. I like the I, the Steiner can go search for these cards. It can go get it can go get VV, so it already has some synergy along with the fire cards. Um, I think this card will see play. Not to I it has really two like specials. this card. The first special blaze is uh, one fire. Don't dull this. It's just choose one for deal at seven thousand. That is a pretty good. Um, I I would say it's like a medium ability. I guess it's fine. Um, but it, it clears the way of small guys, so you can continue to attack. Um, and then round edge, which is two fire in any color. Choose one forward, break it, deal five thousand to all other forward. Now that ability is actually just insane. Um, the biggest part is it does not have to dull to use its ability. You right. Like the fact that you can, he can just be dull and just randomly. Not that I don't even think that it matters. Off, he's, like, he's not even going to be that dull that often because he's going to have brave. Right. Because it doesn't even. But there's say always the, the argument you want to be brave because of lightning and all that. But yeah. I mean, we'll... Sure, but like that deck is the deck with with the deck with like Ash, uh, Garnet, Steiner. That deck already wants Minwoo, so right. I'm not that I'm not that worried about that. Anyway, all right, so then we have Leon. This yes. card is super good, I think. It's a 1 CP 8K. That's, mm -hmm. You heard me right. 1 CP 8K. When it's in the field, your opponent, your opponent controls gains control of him. And when a category 2 character of your opponent enters the field, your opponent gains control of Leon. So, why is that good? Uh, well, when you play him, <laughs> your opponent gets him, and then you play your Emperor and you get him back. Or you play yes. one of the 12 other Rebel uh, forwards that we talked about that were from Final Fantasy 2 today. Mm-hmm. And you get him back. So for one CP, you have an AK. Yeah, I mean, it's very good. And and if you find an opponent that just doesn't have guys, that characters from Final Fantasy II, like you get him back immediately, and you have nothing to worry about. Which is there's easily some decks that just won't have that. Yeah, like I it does like for example, let, let's like now granted now take it with a grain of salt because things change. Okay, like right. 
Yeah, let's let's just look. Like if up. they play Minwoo, they take control of your Leon. But <laughs> sure. No, I, I what I was gonna do is I was just gonna go pick like an ice deck. Um, you know, actually, I was like, which one did Ice win? I could probably just pick any of these, and they would have an Ice winner. Uh, all right, so here we go. I have Jamie Falker's deck. So real quick, I'm just gonna glance over and see if it has any. I don't remember these guys by heart, so sorry. I don't think it has any. Final Fantasy 2 characters in them. Let's say, easier oh, thing is go and uh, filter by Final Fantasy 2 and just look at all the characters. That's a lot. Actually, that's that's a lot harder. No, it's not. <laughs> there, there's mean, less than two full pages of them. It's like from... Furion, Joseph, Leon, Maria, Guy, Ricard, Gordon, Minwoo, Leela, Emperor, and Black Knight. That's it. That's all That's all that we have right now? Yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. I thought there would be a lot more. Oh wow. We I have 13 thought... right now. Okay. So, I mean, granted, we're getting a lot more. But right, still. absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So let's move on to this. Is probably one of my favorite cards for the new set, um, <laughs> and it, it it's not. It's for different reasons, as most people might think. So it's a five CP seven K. So right now we're already competing with Sidosine, which is obviously insane. We're competing with Setzer. Now it does have an EX burst, and it does go and get you a guy. So in that sense, it's the same price as Setzer. Um, Sid Austin kills a guy, so maybe that's actually an even better value if they have no forwards in their hand or no no cards right. in their hand. Um, anyway, but the other thing it does is it also gives you all your ice forwards one thousand power, right? Yes, which is a big problem for ice is that all their guys are like seven k. In the mirror match, it's actually, a lot of things. In the mirror match, like a lot of times, the <clears throat> whoever draws a Duke Lark is the person that's going to win the game. Um, yep. So. But the reason I think this isn't crazy is because the ice decks right now are already playing. There's a new Kazuza, but the which we already talked about. But the the mm -hmm. ice decks right now could already be playing, or sometimes they are already playing one or two copies of the Kazuza that, that discards. Right, so right. So you can just go like turn one, uh, thought of mage and like this and like a a, a backup, um, and then turn, turn two, two this discard your card, play Kazuza, have no cards left in hand. And then they have to discard a card for free. You have this guy. Your guys are big. And the ice mirror match, that's, that seems very, very good to me. Right. All right. So then from today, we have Leo. So. <laughs> Zach's favorite card, if you can't tell. This card might have to be my favorite card besides, like, you know, OG Gilgamesh. But I can't imagine this card isn't insane. Like. So, even ignoring that first type line, even if it was a 1CP 1K, or like, I say they didn't have the buff, and it was just like a 1CP 5K, or it has those. Ha, you, made, you, made a, you made a funny. Yeah. <laughs> you never so, do that. I get to make fun of you when you do that, because I always if, do it. <laughs> if the backups can just produce any color, that already opens up so many so, shenanigans. For those that are just listening, it's a 1CP Earth. Oh, I thought you were putting the images up. Sorry. I, I am. I am. But uh, some people okay. might just be listening. Uh, a 1CP uh, forward in Earth. For each character yes. other than Leo, you control Leo gains plus one thousand power. Backups and you control, yeah. Backups what? you control can produce CP of any element. So, so everything becomes Cosmos, Chaos, Shantoto. Basically. I actually don't know which ability is more nuts. Like, just think about the decks that want to have a lot of colors right now, like the mill decks, for example. They want to get to five backups pretty quick. It's going to happen. Like that's that's what they do. That's how they work. They kill sure. you on their way up there. Sure. So you drop him on five. He's a six k for one. That's already a good rate. But like, we can do better. We can have monsters out. We can have something like Schrodinger. So I think it's much better than monster. Value out of yeah. It. Yeah. Or you can have a layak out or like two forwards, and he's just like this random nine k for one CP or ten k. Like yeah. there's no ceiling. It's yeah. just a matter of how many characters you have. And I think, like you're like you're alluding to here, he's he's a lot better alongside monsters than he is forwards because yeah. they're just harder to remove characters. And he's just this beat stick that sits there and then makes your plays super yeah. easy. You can splash summons. Oh, I love this card. I have to say that this card foil next to mirror would have to be two two of the coolest foils sit next next to each other. Also, both from the same category. Um, Right, I think she's also yeah, the FFCC, yeah, Crystal yep. Chronicles, yeah, um, yeah. I just think that this card is one has two very amazing abilities, and two, I just love the art on this card. Yeah, the art's pretty sweet. It's actually got some cool detail if you look beyond the text box. It's right. kind of got some stuff down there as well. Yeah, I, I didn't I, notice initially. I don't know where this card will be played. 
Um, but I could Everywhere. S- I could see it being played in some sort of combo deck too. Uh, <laughs> not just because of all, all of the colors, but because of how easy it is to replay when you're like bouncing some stuff with like Valfors and you have a bunch of monsters on the board and you just replay this big guy. And if they I just realized that, yeah, in Matiski's deck. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, it does help with the back with the colors too. Yeah, because then you don't have to have so much earth or uh, wind and you can combo off with maybe more efficient cards. Yeah. All right. Oof. So next we have uh, Cypher. Oh, we're going to next already? No. <laughs> <laughs> next we have Cypher. Um, this little guy with his big old sword. <laughs> um, yeah. So is EX Burst when it enters the f- when it enters the field, um, you may search for one job which add it to your hand. Uh, is Ultimatia Ultimatia and Idea the only two we have right now? Yes. Okay. Both Ideas, so you can get the backup if you you know if you ever feeling frisky. If you ever don't <laughs> want five drops to block. That's what that one does, right? Yeah, it's something I, like that. I wonder if fifty percent of people that listen to this don't know what that one does. The backup idea, right? They just, they've Pause never the video here. Seen, Not to I've it. never even seen it. Um, so this next card, I saw a post complaining about it, and I completely agree. Wait, wait, wait. That's it, Cipher. You're done. Oh, no, what, well, you're, what are we? What, what's there to talk about? It gets it gets two cards. We don't know what else it does yet. All right. All right no, you're, you're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. It's, it's, I, it's like I, pain, right? Like I it's just, a three CP three K that dies to everything, and it but it has the experts. Yeah. yeah, and it searches for a niche. Well, so is Paint. It searches for two cards, just like uh, Cypher does, or Paint does. Yeah. All right, anyway, yeah. all right, here you go. So, Estinian, uh, Haste or, and First Strike. For or some if you're reason, like me, you line. just call it Einstein. Yeah, I thought about <laughs> that. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know why they decided to put the Haste and First Strike below, but now that I think about it, doesn't, uh, does Freya have the same type line? It feels that way, but off the top of my um, Let me, I'm just going to see here well if you're gonna see freya. i'm gonna show them too so freya nope freya does have it at the top okay uh, yep. so why they decided to format the card differently than like every other card i have no idea it's not fine. a big deal it's just kind of annoying yeah. um that doesn't bother me i i think that like so what if what if this is the new way that they want to move forward well that'd be um, fine but like me, the other ones in the set so far are not right like the brave uh guy still at the top is it yes Okay, yeah, okay, then... Yeah, that does seem weird. <laughs> for, yeah, the, right? for them to change the formatting for one card is wrong. Yes. But right. it's another version of that White Tiger Let's See, only smaller, uh, uh, so but it has abilities. Then we have... Then we have oh, what's up with abilities? Uh, when you can back up... No, I'm saying it has a haste of first strike. Okay. So uh, okay. it can only be played with lightning uh, backup CP, so you can't pitch cards for it. And From you your ha- hand onto the field. You should... Yes, but it's the same wording as that one. Yeah, so so, so you can't you can't you, you can't outset him. Right. Yeah. That that seems like I don't know. Man, I could just yeah, it's weird. Akimoto like, is not happy with this. I'm well, happy yeah, but dragons right have their own like pumps, right? Like him alongside Kane. It's a three CP nine K with haste and first strike and yeah, but you can outset Kane but, into play. True. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, so is this card any? So, I, if you're playing dragons, you want the card. It's, sure, it's if, you're, good. if you're if you're playing mono dragons, you want this card. Um, you're right. also <laughs> you're also uh, yeah, you're playing mono dragons. The, I, I'm just trying to think like even in mono dragons, do you want this card or do you want a lua? I want a lua all the time, 100 percent of the time. Why not both? Well, I mean, like you, you already have to make some cuts. Like I'm just saying, if, if you're gonna cut three cards and add three of these or whatever you're gonna add, like I'd rather just have three Alua's who also have a special that you can use. Well, I already think that the Dragoon deck wants to be partially water anyway, so you have to like cut out a whole second color to just to play this, and it has to be mono lightning. So I yeah. mean, that in and of itself might be difficult. Yeah, but... look, look, I'm just saying that Alua was the Dragoon we deserved. <laughs> if this card just had a lewis text i'm like oh man this dragon's nuts right oh man anyway all right so next we have hades and this is the final one so this is the last one we've seen everywhere right yeah so this one is a five cp ice summon which i haven't seen very many summons um choose one dull forward break it and the owner of this forward discards one card from their hand so yes i want to point out a few things one I don't yes, think I'll, this card I'll is good. One. one I don't think this card is that good. Okay, um, for a few reasons, which I already posted about in the fans page. Like some people disagree with me. That's fine. There's there, there's no mm-hmm. hating. I I understand why you think that it's fine. 
it, I don't think the card's bad. It's just five CP and ice where it has like like you're already playing things like Sid Austin. You're playing you're playing orphans. You're playing Setzer. Like you have a very expensive deck. And in the mirror match, like mm -hmm. each person is discarding a bunch of cards. You Why can't are you afford, casting it? Yeah, yeah, you can't afford high high costing CP cards like this. So I right. just I don't see it being that good. Not to mention the Ford has to be dull to break. Um, and it also, it is important to note that it says the owner of this Ford discards one card, not the controller. Right? True. So they take your guy. And if they you take your guy, it. and then you have to Hades it, you have to discard. So if they shoot in your guy, and then you have to kill it for some reason, you're the one yeah. that has to discard. I think that that is this makes a lot of sense straight. to me, right? That, that it doesn't make sense to you. Yeah, I didn't think about that actually. And it. I, there's no way that's an accident. Like, it says the owner. Like, it would normally say the controller, right? Mm-hmm. What is, is... How is this... I know that there's people out there that have already thought of how this is future-proofing, but I just can't see how. Like, what... <laughs> right. What would be broken about this just saying the controller? You give your right. them yeah. your guy, and then you break it, and then they have to discard? Like, that seems just like... Seems real bad. Yeah, it seems really bad. <laughs> exactly. I just can't <laughs> imagine. I don't know. Probably one of those puzzles that someone will figure out. But yeah, anyway, what what card are you most excited about, Zach? I don't know if I had to take out a certain one CP forward, uh, then easily the five drop summon back up. Okay. Uh, but if I had to do like a top three, like all in like a little triangle here, it'd be the King Leo, the Ico, and then the five drop back up. So like they're just they all work together, honestly. But I yeah, think there's going to be some very sweet control heavy summon decks and i'm very excited to try to build those okay the card that i think is is so i'm excited for all those i mean like if, if it wasn't obvious like i'm playing those cards the card i wanted to just yeah. try to see play is the colossus um but maybe yep. like the niche way that i want to see mecha chakabu played like it's just not <clears throat> but i, I want to see it played like it has a cool thing like this card could be really cool with cards like uh, angel of penance um Oh, that's true, yeah. Bar Barbarisha, Diablos. Like this, I, 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 I would love to talk to Dan Wynn, see if uh this is if he's gonna play this and like him and Thomas's build of the uh, the wind lightning decks. I, right. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's a cool card though. Yeah. I uh I could definitely agree with that. Yeah. And and then, you know, going back, let me turn this back off. Another cool card is our spoiler. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's definitely up there for me too. I, I think it's very strong. It fits in a lot of different archetypes. It's just a very solid card. Yeah. I see. And so that's the thing. I think this card is like a niche card where like, it'll see like play like in some earth decks, not all the time. Like it's not a minor. It's not a star Sybil. And I guess like some people might say like, isn't that a bad thing? And I would just say like, absolutely not. Like I, <laughs> please no more star Sybils. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I really like this card, and I'm happy that it's going to see plays like a one or two of in some monster decks, or maybe some Scion decks, and maybe a three mm -hmm. of in like some mirror, mirror water decks. Um, right. I think it's like really cool. Um, and also, I really like the art. That's the first thing my wife said. It's like, oh man, that card. Yeah, no, it's, it's a very beautiful card. I, I was kind of happy that like we didn't get some kind of weird, like basic looking card or standard unit or something. Yeah, we got, uh, we got a Marduk. <laughs> it, 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 it was nice to look at for like three weeks while we couldn't talk to anybody about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, man. That was really tough. Yeah. So, um, for those of you guys going to Kansas, we're going to see you there, both Zach and I. Uh, yep. That's next weekend. Not this weekend coming up, but next yes. weekend. Um, I am super excited, man. I... Well, I'm actually a little nervous for once. Like, I'm not. Are you? I'm not nervous, I... like, so much that. I think I'm going to do poorly. I just don't know no, if I'm going to do, do well enough on that. Like to really like get there. Like I don't want to be that guy who scrapes in at eighth place on tiebreakers again. Is, is like, that what that's happened not where I want to be. Were yes. you at eighth place? I thought you were seventh. I was eighth. You were sixth. We were both on uh, okay, like yeah, a X, X and two yeah, record yeah, yeah, yeah. and we both had to go tie breaks in. So like, I don't want to be in that position again. Yeah. We were sweating pretty hard there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, I, I think you'll do fine. Um, I've been testing a lot online. I think that our deck moving forward is pretty good, pretty well positioned. Um, I'll tell you right now, I'm not playing Water Earth Monsters. <laughs> that at least that's not not the plan. But man, if this car <laughs> if this if this car was out right now though, I, I would actually consider it. Like, 
depends what happens during the Choker Bro Stables late night uh, sessions. Oh yeah, <laughs> over at Jake it, Leah's it, house. It, it, yeah, it just totally depends on what happens at midnight that night. <clears throat> like when I when I cut the Emperor, and the next day Matiski's like, "Oh, you'll be fine against you'll be fine against Mono Wind. You have Emperor." I'm like, "Nah, man, I cut it." <laughs> why hey, why'd you cut it because it was two in the morning and i had nothing else to do <laughs> yeah. so i cut the emperor what a bad decision that was it worked out all right yeah. though <laughs> worked out all right yeah it worked out all right though. I got, might I have been got, better but yeah. got it. no it would have been better i wish i had the emperor the whole day <laughs> but anyway um yeah so that should be that, that's episode 18 right yeah man that's a lot so it's really simple this week we didn't yeah. you know like going any super crazy like oh. discussion. Like, yeah, most of you guys stopped listening after you saw the. Or... Most of you guys stopped listening after you saw the original, like the picture, and then mm-hmm. you went and like tried to copy it and try to be the first one on the fans page. And, it, and it's funnier that you're trying to talk to those people who aren't here. Yeah, it is funnier. <laughs> I, 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 Mr. Cool, Alex, Mr. Cool already beat you and already posted it. So. so yeah. It. Right. I actually, <laughs> I kind of want to see who gets the first uh, repost of it. Of the image, um, yeah. Yeah, of the image. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I, I just told you who it'll be. Um, oh, it'd be yeah. Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. He, he beats everybody. Um. Anyway, yeah. So, so episode eighteen. I think we should plan something special for episode night or twenty. So you know. Yeah. No, I agree. Nin- nineteen will be boring. Yeah. Don't worry about nineteen. Um. You don't have to listen or watch. <laughs> we're gonna try not to skip a week again, but. But uh, yeah, but but I think we're gonna plan something special for episode twenty. Yeah. Um. Hopefully we'll be coming back crowning Zach the the king of the Crystal Cup in, in Kansas, yeah. and then that would be a pretty special episode. Um, no, no, no. What we got to do is we got to have the Choker Bro Finals in a Crystal Cup. Well, well, you know that 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 was supposed to happen last time we we're in Kansas, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Anyway, hey guys, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Sam Riley, and I'm Zach Bro, and we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.